Hello again YouTube, I just wanted to bring you an update to a product I've been following very closely on Kickstarter and uh, it has now been I would say the idea has been brought to fruition the product is now on store shelves and uh, you can go out and pick one up at a store near you or order it online they're pretty accessible now of course I mean Fidget Cube for those of you who don't know, ANSI Labs partnered with a company called Zuru to uh, mass produce and uh, bring their product to market very quickly, very easily. I don't know who Zuru is, but uh, the day of the purchase or the day after the purchase, there were a lot of articles saying how Zuru has uh, they've done it again. They've they've partnered with another great idea. Uh, so apparently, they are very big in the in the toy world. So as you can see here I've got the original uh, pre-order that I received uh, along with Prism wrapped around it, the little silicone protector. Um, and here, I'll put that out of the way for a bit, this is how the product is now featured on store shelves. doesn't spill. I'm going to pop one of these open. I'm going to pop this one open. Uh, the other one is a gift. So this is the dice model. Again, very easy to remove these stickers. Now, I was impressed with the display they had. I'll talk a bit more about that. They looked really nice on the shelf. Alright, so after you take off the two stickers, the top, I believe. Oh. Ah, there we go. Oh, look at that. Popped right out. First, I want to look at the packaging more than anything else, because that is the improvement that I was most drawn to. You see here, very simple base. You no longer get the, uh, uh, the microfiber bag or sticker. What you get is a simple cardboard base that holds a cube right there and the top. Right away what you'll notice that little click um, sculpture on the top is gone which does make this easier for stacking on a display case and there is a piece there are two pieces of plastic right here on the top that keep the cube in place so it doesn't rattle around anymore they solved the two big problems I saw with the packaging um, no big surprise I'm pretty sure somebody else uh, saw that pretty quickly and they made the changes appropriately so I'm glad to see that. Also, very good looking packaging. Um, if you were to see this on the on the shelf next to one of the cardboard boxes that a knockoff comes in, it'd be pretty... Uh, your eye would be pretty quickly drawn to this one uh, over the knockoff, and rightly so. Now, onto the actual cube. Look at that everything you expect it to be. Now it does have a few noticeable differences. First and foremost that little stamp right there. Don't know if that indicates where it was made or just some sort of 
uh, marketing uh, or uh, identification number don't really know what that's about but the clip the roll click I'll show you what this one is called this is the spin breathe slide all there so how does it stack up to the uh, pre-order one of the big things I noticed is a few parts that were smooth now have sort of a satin finish to them but my biggest uh, the biggest thing I noticed was the glide I don't know if you can hear that but it has sort of a plastic crunching feel to it it is not as smooth as the original I'm hoping this breaks in maybe it uh, smooths out a little bit but that one is a little bit crunchy I guess. The other thing I'd say would be a little bit, oh yeah, the, the inside also has that satin texture as opposed to just a smooth tex texture. The other thing I will notice though is, where is it, here we go, on I guess the, the pre-order, which is what I have here, the gears don't feel as as if they lock up as tightly as they do on the store model. But apart from that, everything is pretty much the same. All the buttons feel just as good, they work the same way, all the silent ones are still silent, the clicky ones still click. The store display looked very nice, I'm going to try and get some uh, still shots on the video if I can. In fact, um, I was really kind of disappointed with the way the store put them up. See it now because I and of course I, I had to buy more than one. I was really more disappointed with the way the store put it on display. It just sort of seemed tucked away on the shelf somewhere. But the display was a a nice box that you open up and inside I think were uh, four rows. Uh, too high and too deep so looking through to find the color you wanted was very easy um, it looked very promising they also collaborated with NC Labs to make of course their own line of fidget spinners I'm not too into the spinners and uh, thus the style that I was interested in getting they all sounded like they had something loose rattling around in the back so didn't didn't pick one of those up uh, but I'm impressed with this I really like where this is and where we've gone or where we, we've seen this go uh, now there are a couple of, of uh, oh there's there's one big negative to this and I think it's partly due to all the imitations and all the fakes that you do find out there. The big the big con, and, and I, I guess that could be taken any way you like, is the price. Uh, no, I, they're, they're not overpriced, in fact they're way underpriced. Everyone who backed this project, everyone who pre-ordered, were told that these would, would retail for $25 and they don't. 
The um, advertised price is $15, and I bought these um, for the low, low price of uh, $9.80 something. A after tax, it was a little over $10. So there are a lot of people right now very angry because they were told they'd be getting a, uh, a lower than market retail price, but I think ANSI very quickly realized they would have to lower their price dramatically if they wanted to keep up with all the competition that was already out there and had already flooded the marketplace. So, uh, I guess take that for what it is. If you pre-ordered, if you backed on Kickstarter, you, I think, got maybe not a, a better model. I guess it depends on how important the uh, glide feature is to you. You definitely got something that was a little exclusive. You got um, an exclusive case and uh, the bag and the sticker that you'll probably never see anywhere else again. Should you be mad about it? Nah, maybe. Maybe, maybe not. I'm I look at at, uh, at this as we saw a cool product, we, we wanted to make sure it got to people, and now it is, and now it's easily accessible. Uh, I'm glad to see that, again, the original, if displayed on a shelf next to a knockoff, will be more visually appealing and at the same price. So. Uh, I, I'm really um, excited to see it. I'm really excited to see this. Go out and get yourself one. They're fun. They're distracting. I'm gonna play with this one now. Um. Hmm. Not sure what else to talk about now. We've got dead air time. Ooh. So, if you are upset about the price, Chances are the most you ever paid for it. Like me, uh, I, I paid ten dollars extra for this one. And like I said, I, I kind of like this one a little bit more. I think this one feels a little bit better. It has a, a better a little bit better feel to it. Oh, one other note: the the store models feel a little bit heftier than the uh, the pre-order. Anyway, I've rambled long enough. Um, I'm excited about this. I'm happy to see this come to market. Again, if you're if you really believed in the main purpose of this, which was to help people study and focus, then I'm sure you'll be happy about this too. Uh, and again, if you missed backing on Kickstarter, if you missed pre-ordering it, go out and buy yourself one. I would say stay away from Amazon. They are charging the full twenty-five dollars. Last time I saw, don't don't order don't order these on Amazon. Uh, go go find them in store. Go order them on any other website. And take care.